Hi, I'm Philip Rosedale. I'm the founder and CEO of Linden Lab. Linden Lab is the company that makes Second Life. Second Life has always been part of uh, a big vision. The very strong vision that I had was to reimagine the world, to recreate the world inside a computer. And by doing that, we might be able to make it a little bit better, different in ways that uh, for us as people would be more appealing. When I started Linden Lab, I had already been a successful technology ex executive and had actually made some money uh, being part of uh, Real Networks, one of the early internet companies. But it was still extremely difficult for Second Life to come to life as a business. And so even as a visionary with, with a little bit of money and a lot of experience, I still wasn't able to get Second Life happening in 1999-2000 until I met Mitch Kapor. The innovation is driven by someone with an idea, in many cases, finding someone who believes in that idea. And I think one of the challenges that we face in, in our modern world is that there are many great ideas, uh, but still relatively few intersections between the people who have those ideas and the people who get excited about them and get behind them. For myself and for Mitch, that was what happened. We found each other, we were lucky enough to find each other through working together at Real Networks and then later sharing ideas about what Second Life could be and could become. And I was very fortunate in that Mitch was both understanding of what we were trying to do and uh, able to financially and time-wise back us as a company, provide me with the mentoring that I needed to become a CEO of what's now a very rapidly growing company. So. That, I think, is something that the level playing field is trying to do for a lot of people. Take that idea of intersecting great ideas with the people who can support those ideas and make them work. The thing that happened with Mitch and I, and extending that to a much broader community of people to have access to, to it, to that same experience, that experience of turning innovation into something. What are the parallels between Second Life and the Level Playing Field Institute? Well, Second Life has always been uh, fundamentally a tearing down of many of the barriers around innovation, entrepreneurship, and creative production. When you go into Second Life and you have a great idea, you find that the cost of, of putting that great idea into a prototype or showing it to somebody else is a tiny fraction of what that cost would be in the real world. Similarly, when you go in and create an avatar in Second Life, you become someone new. And the only thing that matters in the world of Second Life is, is how smart you are, how compelling you are, how clever your idea is. So that's something that has always made Second Life so appealing in that it's an imagination of the world in that way that we often imagine it or would like it to be but don't find it in reality to be a place where your intelligence and your creativity is the only thing that matters. Second Life is making that happen, and I think that the Level Playing Field Institute is trying to make that happen in a way that touches real lives and has an effect very similar to what we're trying to do in the virtual world. I think that what, what we see happening in Second Life today also suggests the kind of future that the Level Playing Field can help to bring into existence. In Second Life today, you've got a clothing industry that's millions of dollars a month. That industry actually nowadays has big clothing manufacturers in it, the big name brands that you hear about and wear every day. But in Second Life, uh, a teenager in a cafe, in a PC cafe in Venezuela, can build clothes and sell them to people at no basic cost other than their time and creativity, and they can use PayPal to create a real income for themselves uh, doing nothing more than creating virtual property. I think that that is the kind of thing that needs to happen more in the real world. We need to have a more direct and immediate connection between people's innovation and their ability to be successful. And so I think that's what the level playing field is trying to do in the real world, or we're trying to do it in the virtual world. And I want to say thank you for allowing me to be a part of this and uh, help make this all happen.